Oh, you grabbed two things. Okay. Right on. Right on. Okay. Alright. Chase knows that. Chase, bring you look back to the red light on on that thing. Is it recording? Numbers on the top? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So everyone's got that down. You got your mileage. You got your miles per gallon. We're gonna use the forty for us, and you got your fuel tank. Okay. Next. Next numbers we need. We need the price of fuel. I did a research this morning. I'll show you the number I want you to use. Okay, this was the average miles, uh, this is the average gas, oh geez. This is the average gas, the, um, the average price in gas across the nation. We're going to use this number right here. I searched this this morning, this is the across the nation, this is what the average price in gas is. It's important because if we're going across the nation, we can't just use the Iowa gas prices. We have to use kind of the average what it was. Yesterday's average was um, uh, 282. Uh, today is about 282 again. That's the average. A week ago it was 285. So it is going down. That tends to happen when we near elections. Then the price will spike here in December, January, February again. It always happens. They always lower it right before election time. Now, again, now is this is this the perfect number? No, because you can see off the side there's some other premium prices. Uh, depends on what state you're in, the prices will influx, especially in California and stuff. So, depends on the city you're in. All right, does everyone have these numbers written down? Okay, let's get to the first one. We're going to do an example of what we're doing today. So, in front of you, you have a ruler. You're going to get a map. Do not, do not draw on the map today. Do not draw on this. You're going to use it to measure. We're going to do one together. If we need a second one, we'll do a second one, but then I'm going to turn you loose in your homework. Okay? All right, here you go. We're not writing on this, so don't write your name on it. So be careful. Perfection. Okay. Nice. Okay. All right. Fred. Okay. Everyone's got one in front of them. All right. Let's do an example here. I'm going to pull up the map here in front of us, and we're going to go through a rough example of how this works. Okay. All right. Let's see. It must be up here. Too zoomed in. Ah, it is. All right, good. Okay. Zoom in again. All right. Okay. Here's here's the U.S. city map that you have in front of you. We're gonna do a rough example of this right now, so you get kind of a feel for how this works. Uh, we'll try a bunch of different examples out. Um, and I want to show you kind of the level of what, what I've been trying to teach you these last couple days. Okay, the fuel mileage, like the actual like driving distances and the price it takes you to actually travel by car. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to go from, let's go from Salt Lake City. So again, don't draw on my map, but we're going from Salt Lake City and let's go down to San Antonio. Boom. Okay, we're going to go this distance. What I need you to do right now is take your ruler. Let's measure in centimeters, not inches. Let's go centimeters, they're more accurate, they're closer together. Um, I wanna know roughly what it is. Now, if you're in between perfect centimeters, tell me it's like, if you're on the second hash mark, that's, you know, something 0.2. Okay, so whatever hash mark you're on, that's the decimal that goes behind it. I want you to measure, don't say it out loud. Let's, I wanna give everybody a chance to measure from San Antonio to Salt Lake City, measure from dot to dot. Hopefully, it kinda of measured out. I don't know if it landed perfectly or if it if it was a couple hash marks off, but I want to give everybody a chance to measure that. You need practice. Somebody wake up Destiny over there. Make sure you're measuring right now. All right. 
What was that calculation thing? What? The how many centimeters and how many miles or whatever it was? So That's, we're going to talk about that. Uh, we're going to do that next. Yep. Okay. Yep, so if you didn't hear Dyer, he was asking, we need a conversion. We're, I'm going to show you that conversion here in a second. Okay. All right. What was, what was the measurement we had right now? 8.6. Perfect. All right. So, from Salt Lake City. Okay. To San Antonio. It was roughly 8.6, 8.7. Let's say it's 8.6. Okay. We're going to put below it, we're going to put an X below it. This number, now this is in centimeters. The number below it, we're going to convert to miles. This will help us to figure out the total cost of this trip for our vehicle. Okay, and we're going to use that Toyota Corolla to help us out with this. Okay? And the price on gas. Okay, so this is X miles. Now the number you need, 19.2 centimeters on this map is 2,441 miles. What I did there is I measured across the U.S. So I picked two towns that were really far apart. You so said 2,241? 2,441. Like, uh, oh, 2,000, sorry. 2,441 miles. Okay, all right. So now that we have this, we're gonna do our quick conversion. So if you're on your, if you're on your, like if you're at your desk and you have a uh, calculator in front of you, you're gonna cross multiply and you're gonna divide to get the mileage. So 8.6 times 2441, and you're gonna divide by the number that you're looking around, the 19.2. What this will give me is how many miles? I only want you to go one decimal place. This number, this number I'm providing you. This is the scale we're using. This is the scale you're gonna use on every single problem. Yeah, 19.2. Yeah. This number right here is the number you got when you measure the actual like distance. So Katie, welcome. We're measuring from San Antonio to Salt Lake City, and we're converting that to, into miles from the map. So we, we're measuring in centimeters. Now this scale, since you're walking in, this scale is provided to you. This is the scale we're going to use on every single round today. Okay, what do we get for mileage? Does somebody actually multiply, divide? Thousand ninety three point three miles. Thousand ninety three point three. Okay. All right. Again, that's taking the eight point six times two four four one dividing by nineteen point two. Okay. Now this number, this is the distance it would take us to travel. Now I know this is not perfect. Google Earth will say something different because number one, they're going on road. We're basically going straight linear distance straight there. Now what this will do? How do you calculate that? This is one of the first parts you have to do in your homework problems. Each problem, you have to give me that number using that scale. This number changes because you have to measure between your towns. Okay, so now that you know your number, now what we're going to do next is figure out how many gallons it will take us in fuel to get there. So, in gallons, that uh, we're going 1,093.3. If you multiply by 40 miles per gallon, okay, um, that, this won't cancel out, hey, don't do that, by the way, don't watch, I'm trying to teach you something right now, don't write that down, okay, if you actually multiply that down, if you multiply that, it will not cancel out, what you actually need to do, instead of multiplying that, you have to divide this number, you have to take the mileage and divide, now the reason why, when you divide, it will cancel out, it'll like bring this uh, gallons up because when you divide you actually multiply by a reciprocal and it flips over so you'll actually have gallons on the top so I need you to divide by 40 now where we got the 40 from Katie you were gone out of the room we're picking a default vehicle we picked a Toyota Corolla that gets 40 miles per gallon that's the car we use for everything okay what do we get 27.3325 27.3325 We'll just go 23.3, okay, or 27.3. This is how many gallons of gas it will, it will cost you. Okay, does that make sense? I mean, you divide by 40. Now, if you had a different vehicle, you divide by the, the fuel rating of your car. So, like, I know Mr. Dye, you said you know your car gets about 10 or 11. 11.7. There. You know that number, you could divide by that. It would give you how many gallons it would take you for your car. Does that make sense? Okay, but we're using the default Toyota. Okay, I know some of you yesterday used my car. Mine got about 26-ish, 
But again, we're using the highway because we're traveling down highways to do those questions. Are we at least going to use that 40? Yes, we're going to use, today, we are going to use this 40. This is going to be the set number we're using because we're going to all use the Toyota Corolla today. Now again, your car might not be as accurate as mine uh, just because I picked a just generic car. Uh, some of you had different cars at different miles per gallon. Uh, but we're going to use the 40 for each of our problems. Now, now that we know this, now we know how many gallons of gas we're going to use. I said fill. We're going to multiply this by the 2.82 number that we had earlier. Now, if you want to be super accurate, multiply by this is the number I actually had on the board earlier. This is the price per gallon. This is the price per gallon. If you actually multiply that, you'll get your answer how much it's going to cost you for that road trip. If you just want to round that and make it 282, I'm fine with that, you're going to be in the ballpark. Multiply those, what do we get? When you take the 27.3 and you multiply oh, that. 76.3. No. 77.02. Yeah. Oh my gosh. 77.07765. Oh, are, are you using the 0.82? Uh, I use you use the other number? Okay. What, did you use the 0.82? I use 818. Ooh. What? We should get two different numbers. What do you mean, point eight? Okay, twenty-seven point three three two five. That's I have that number in right now, and I times by two point eight two. Yeah. Yeah, seventy-seven point zero seven seven six five. Okay. Seventy-seven point seven. Okay. And if you multiply it by the point eight one eight, what do we get? Seventy-seven point zero two. There's no numbers. Okay. Is that what we got to? Yeah. But I just used the twenty-seven point three. Oh, okay. You're in the ballpark. What, what was your number? If you used twenty-seven point three. Seventy-six point eight. Okay, you're in the ballpark. All right. So hey, you're starting to see all the all the different ranges. What the what these numbers are. This is your price that it takes you for that road trip. That's not a very expensive road trip. You're going from Salt Lake City to San Antonio in this car. It will cost you 77 bucks in gas. That's not bad. That's better than a plane ticket. You can take five friends with you that can fit in the car. Okay? So you can split that gas up. Now, why we did this? This is the practicality portion of this class. You have to think about this. It, it is cheaper to drive there than it is to actually fly. But the thing is, you also have to worry about tires. You have to worry about if there's any type of damage to your car in the process. You have to worry about. Um, you also have to worry about um, potentially, potentially oil changes. I know that's kind of a far thing because you're only going a thousand miles, but that's something you do have to worry about when you're on that drive. Uh, but car maintenance is a big part of it. But again, seventy-seven bucks to go like that distance. Maybe that's worth it. Now that's this is rough ballpark, right? Because I know the roads don't go straight from there to there. They're going to wind all over the place, and you're going to have to kind of figure that out. But this is like the lowest cost it should cost you. Now, why did I tell you how many gallons of gas earlier? Well, here's the thing. Because earlier, I told you, you know, our Toyota Corolla gets 40 miles per gallon. It has a gas tank of 13 gallons, 13.2. So, if you divide this by 13.2 gallons... The 40? Yeah, uh, no, this number, the 27. 27 number, if you divide by 13.2, this will roughly tell you how many tanks you're going to have to fill. About two. About two. So what is it, 1.7? That's like 2.07. 0. 0. 0.07, 0. 0. all right. This is how many tanks of fuel you're going to have to get. So, yeah, about a little bit over two, get two tanks of gas. So now, why it's important is because if you know you have to go over two, two tanks of gas, you will have to fill it a third time at some point. I went over two tanks, so I know that I'm going to have to buy a third tank of gas because I used two full tanks. So instead of just buying exactly $77 worth of gas, I'm going to have to fill in 13.2 gallons three times of gas. So that does affect my price. Now, am I going to make you do that today? No, but that was, this is just something I want you to see. Okay, so it did take me, it did take me more than just, you know, seventy-seven dollars worth, seventy-six dollars. It actually took me three tanks of gas because I went over two. So in theory, three tanks of gas at thirteen gallons. That's thirty-nine point six. Thirty-nine point six gallons times two point eight two is a lot more. 
All right, you see the numbers you're going to have to calculate today. I want to see your mileage. I want to see how many gallons of gas you're using and the price per gallon. Now, here's what I like to do. I don't mind which number you use. Um, I recommend that if you're going to go decimal places, try to be as accurate as possible. Go more decimal places, the better. Okay. All right, let's do one more so everyone's in the room and everyone knows what we're doing today. You're going to have six of these today for your homework. Six. Okay, we're using the same vehicle, the same scales. So I'm going to use that same scale for every problem I'm going to do today. I'm going to do the same gallons, miles per gallon for every gas, and I'm going to be using the same price per gallon. Now, I don't mind which one you pick. Let's decide right now so everyone's on the same page. Do you want to use the .82 or the 818? 818. 82. Raise your hand if you want 82. 82 it is. All right. So this is what we're going to do. The reason why that's more practical. Okay. So from now on, for all six problems, that's a gas price you're using. Okay. All right. Let's do one problem. So you get used to this. So everyone's in the room. They can all hear me do it. And then I'll turn you loose in your homework, which will be due on Friday. Okay. I'm going to pick two towns. Here we go. We're going... We're going Boulder, Colorado. We're going Boulder. And we're going to go to Oklahoma City. We're not going very far. We're going to go on a short trip this time. So you get to see this. So Boulder to Oklahoma City. Remember, do not draw my maps. But let's measure this in centimeters right now. So put your ruler on the page and measure that out. I want to know how accurate that is. I'm going to research the camera here so we get the whole thing on camera. Yeah, Boulder, Colorado. How did I lose so many pounds? Okay. All right. So when you put your ruler, line up zero right here. Count up in centimeters to get there. Um, I I don't know how many it is. Now, whatever hash mark you're, whatever hash mark you're on, that's the decimal that goes after it. I want to know accurately what number we have. Four point one. 4.1, 4.2-ish? Yeah, 4.1 yeah, and a half. 4.1, we'll go 4.1 once. Okay, so if you measured in centimeters, you went 4 over 0.1. So this is the number we're using, 4.1 centimeters. Okay, again, this scale that you're seeing right here, you're going to use on every single problem. 19.2 centimeters on your map is 2,441 miles in real life. I did, I did a measurement thing earlier before you guys walked in to get the accurate. Okay, we're going to cross multiply and divide. We're going to take the 4.1 times the 2441 diagonally and divide by the 19.2. This will tell me exactly how many miles I have. Now, I want this to be... 521. What? 521. 521. 0.25. 0.25? Yeah. Okay, is, is that everyone getting that? Okay, so that number is the number we're using. So that, so that distance is 521 miles. Okay, now that we know that, we're going to divide by 40 because your car, the, we're using a Toyota Corolla as our default car today, gets 40 miles per gallon highway. So we're going to take that 521.25 miles, divide by 40, and this will tell me how many gallons of gas I will use in that car on this road trip. Okay. Okay, how many? Divide by 40. Divide by 40. Yep. Uh-huh. 13.3. 13.03? Oh, three. Oh, three? Yep. Okay. 13 gallons of gas. Not bad. It's almost a full tank for that because that tank is... 13.2. 13.2 tank. So we're filling one tank. Let's multiply that 13 36. gallons of gas by 2.82. Again, where I got that number from, I researched this morning. That's the average gas across the U.S. right now, the price of gas. So you multiply your gas times um, 282, and that will tell me my final price of my road trip. It's right there, Matthew. 36.74. There you go. 36.74. So that, is it 84 or 74? 74. 74. Okay. okay. 36 bucks. That's not an expensive trip to go 500 miles across the U.S. to go from Oklahoma City to Boulder. And again, I know the roads are windy. That gives you a rough cost of what it's going to cost you. Better than a plane ticket. 30 bucks travel there. But now, cars maintenance will add up to it. Now, the one thing I haven't talked about. Some people don't have the luxury of having a Toyota Corolla. You can rent cars. I think you have to be of the age 25 to rent a car. You can't rent until you're past age 25. But the rental agreement is they give you so many miles, and if you go over that, you pay so many miles or so many so much price per mileage. So like usually the agreements are like you can travel a thousand miles. 
After a thousand miles, it's like 15 cents per every mile you go past it. So why do you want to do that? Why do you want to do that? It doesn't put any mileage on your personal car, and you don't have to do, worry about oil changes and whatnot. The car will work because it's not going past the 1,000 mile mark. But you also have to bring it back. Now, some of those some of those places allow you to drop it off at a company that would be in that town, so you don't have to pay the drive back. So that's kind of nice. Uh, again. I almost strongly recommend that if you're going on vacation, rent a car, don't drive your own. Because you don't have to worry about the cost, the car should work, just make sure you get insurance on it. Because the, if, the, if you don't buy insurance through the dealership, like whoever's renting you that car, and something were to happen, you'd have to pay it out of pocket. If you, if you get the insurance, they cover all costs, and you don't have to worry about any of the maintenance of the car. The tire blows, they fix it. It's awesome to do that. Okay. And plus, you can get whatever car you want. So if you want a really nice car, you can get one. All right. Now, questions? Questions at all about what we're doing here? You have six of these. You're using the same scale for every problem, same miles per gallon for every problem, and the same price for every car. I put those in boxes. Okay, here's your six cities. Um, again, on your map. Don't draw on the map. We're going to use this later on. So right now, you want to put these in your notebook. Here's your six cities you have to go through. Okay, number one, we're going from Des Moines to Minneapolis. So this is round number one. Des Moines to Minneapolis. And again, you're going to have to figure out where these cities are or help each other out to figure out if you don't know where those were found. Uh, number two, you're going from San Francisco. Oh, I heard that. Sorry. Okay. We're going from San Francisco to Seattle. That's number two. Number three, you're going from New York, New York to Chicago. Chicago, California. Okay, number four, you're going from Miami. You're going from Miami to San Antonio, which we just did a little bit ago, so you should know where San Antonio is. Number five, you're going from Boston to Washington, D.C. And note, I don't know if I need to say this, Washington, D.C. is not in Washington State. Not crazy, I shouldn't have to say that. And the last one, Los Angeles. Los Angeles to Kansas City. Okay, there you go. What I want to see on your paper when you do this, it's your homework that's due on Friday. I want to see how many miles you're traveling. So if you do your measurements, again, we're measuring everything in centimeters. It's the easiest thing to do. Figure out the mileage. Figure out how many gallons you're going to take by dividing that number by 40. And then figure out what the pricing gallons will cost you to take that trip. Okay, that's, so you have six problems. It's outside the textbook. You can't look in the book to see what to do. You're going to have to use it. Every single problem, you're going to use the same scale. You're going to have to use the 40 and the 282. What I'd rec strongly recommend right now, like today, before you leave, get all those measurements done first. Like measure all these distances in centimeters before you leave because I'm collecting the maps here in about 15 minutes. So you need to have those all and don't draw my map. Okay, got it? So get those measurements done right off the bat. Then that way you can go to the problems, you can do all the rest of the math because you won't need your maps anymore. Okay. Happens. Well, I'll just take it easy and we'll try to keep the nine points goes to us. Try to keep the computer time down to a minimum or so. Thanks. Thanks, man. Do an extra punch. Upper level. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I'll have both. Um, because no matter what, I'll have both. Just to guarantee, like, do you pick two instead of I pick one? Because that affects all the rest of the numbers. But now remember, we're using 40 miles per gallon. We're using 282 for the gallons on gas. Again, when you're picking your distances, try to be as accurate as possible. But just pick one of the hash marks. You don't have to pick the weird hash mark in between. Here, here. Right on the show. Seattle. Oh, I thought you meant New York. Yeah, that's what I mean. New York State. New York City. I'll measure the top. Can we do the San Antonio? That was the one we just did. You want to see where the trips take I thought we did the other one. We did Salt Lake? We did San Antonio, so you should know that. Oh! The long trip from Mount. Here, here, the long trip. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. And then shoot it and that and fuck we're So you got about 10 minutes left here to try to get those measurements done because I'm going to collect these maps here in a little bit. You only have to measure six of them, it shouldn't be that bad. The hardest part is to figure out where those towns are. I know after Everything else is just the same. All of it's the same. So that's I was hoping the Lakers were taking in, but they really haven't found the match yet. They're still working together. Tim was looking. So do um, how did the trial turn out last night? Do they do they beat the, the Bucks? I didn't see the game. Oh no! They're both undefeated going into last night. I didn't see that game. I didn't watch it because uh, uh, Giannis wasn't playing and uh, uh, Kawhi wasn't playing either. He was resting. Uh, I didn't even watch it. But they both should have played. It would have been a decent game. It would have been a decent game, but they didn't play. So. Okay, when you get done with your map, I'll take them because we're going to use them for other purposes later. 
Oh, that is how much money he will spend. Are you doing it for more? Why don't you measuring? I'll take your rulers. Remember, you only got about you know, eight minutes left before I take your maps, so you got to make sure you get done. That's how many dollars you'll spend. Do you want us to round? Do you how many guys? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want us to round? Yeah, do the best you can. Yeah. Just to be close. That ruler seen better days from brand new. Right, you're done. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Why are you chewing on your head? That is disgusting. Can I go up You can go over. Sit by Fred. You guys know what your ruler is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. 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 I so we'll, I we'll talk about what the next thing we're going into because I want to start the video. Maybe I do some calcs. Calcuation. No calcs. Thank you, Val, for the day. I got more done all night. Brandon, you done with yours? Perfect. Yeah. So that was just showing you like, what you, okay. you like in real life what you actually worry about because no one's gonna like go on a road trip and just get like seventy seven pounds right there and just fill up tanks. No, or tanks, tanks, tanks. tanks. So in theory, like that one, you'd, you'd actually fill it three times. Like on this process, you'd only really fill it once, but you probably wouldn't let it get down at that point. Yeah. So. Can you check out the Yeah. Now, for you guys, you guys can look at the other ones. Massachusetts, upper right. You guys can look for this. Every other class. Oh, what? Is this stuff? Why do you want to take out it? Is he handed by Lockdown? Short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This class is sexy. Yeah. Yeah, he gave my order both times. This is all going to be the one you do. If I just need to find questions, I'm going to listen to way back. So we got problems, Brandon. We're doing fine. Crash the tractor, broke the ladder. Matt, why'd you bring the ladder? What? 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 You should your recovery is way faster. Oh, you can be like my uncle Zane, you can drive a straight line down to the Wow, Just all that. Take whatever pile is Here's how many gallons you have. We'll play with every. Well, when you went over spare drafts. Oh, yeah. The straight one. Oh, I will. I am fine. I am fine. I am fine. I am fine. I so yeah, you probably want to read it. Well, I guess all their 121, 124, exercise B. Okay, you were gone. You weren't even in the class. I honestly hope that would be the one that you probably want to really. 
farming. So, so that one? That would be bad for the Yeah, I want to run out Okay, so we just start with this one. Okay. The problem is we have a test on okay. so we're not going to have a test. That's fine. Do you have a test? Yeah, I don't think you do this, but I really don't think I don't know. Yeah, you said it earlier. It's been a long time. 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 It's yeah, break it off. Pop off. Yeah, you're gonna like have a power and they're gonna be like spraying out like a power washer. Yeah. 6500 PSI. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I think he broke his neck. 